Yeah, 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 you already know what it is. We are out here, blood, sweat, and tears, seven. You know what I'm saying? ARP, uh, before we got on here, was going uh, at it with your opponent about, yo, Bonnie, she's one of the staples of this shit. Like, you can say what you want, but, like, she's going to cook you. You and her just finished battling. How you feeling right now? I feel good. I already knew how it was going to go. You know, it's a lot of bricks in the building, not a lot of vets. So we're just going to be, you know, hyping each other's shit up as usual. Um, I actually feel like she did good, though. I feel like her... Yeah, I don't know what was her strongest round. Maybe the first, but I feel like I took the first clear. So, but I feel like her first was actually like, I was like, all right, cool. I'm going to have to step up my performance and shit. So I'm actually proud of her. She did good. Um, I didn't think she was going to die. Okay. Um, so it was a good battle. I don't uh, feel like I took it though. Uh, now, you know, being in there, you know, you definitely had some jokes. You had moments where you went on a uh, quote unquote AMG mode. You was in, in all that type of bag. Like, it seems like you constantly getting better in your craft. Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, bring, bring in that type of energy for her tonight. What made you say, you know what, I'm going to lock in to this level for caution? Um, I actually took a little bit of a lesser approach, I felt. Okay. Because I have the tournament tomorrow, I was kind of trying to even out my bars, like not put so many bars into one and not the other. So what I feel like I did is be more, I like being unorthodox. I, I don't care what nobody say, I like doing jokes. I like, um, you know, making the crowd laugh in the middle of then being aggressive in the next bar and then going back to doing the scheme in the next. So I like being unorthodox. I just wanted to flow. I wanted to make sense with each other. And that's what I've been focusing on. Like not being, it's not about always being bar heavy. It's about performance. It's about delivery. It's about crowd participation. It's about freestyle. So I'm constantly trying to just be overall better and not just a puncher all the time. Um, what did you um, see from her that made you think like, you know, at least from today's battles that you didn't expect from her or maybe didn't see coming? Um, I feel like she stepped it up a little for me with the bars from what I was watching of her before. I feel like she definitely stepped it up a little with the bars. Um, her performance was still, she's, she's a good performer. I saw that when I was watching her. So I was mainly just worried about content. You know, I knew she couldn't. She's not going to be as funny. She's not going to be as delivering. So those type of things is what I focused on. But um, yeah, I feel like she stepped up the bars. Definitely, me. definitely. Mm -hmm. uh, but with you, like, one thing I got to say is your rebuttal game. Like, you, you constantly show, like, you a legend in this game. Like, as far as, like... Uh, well, now I wouldn't just say a legend, but a vet in the game, like where you can, like the growth, like I, I can take the room off of just, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And to be able to have the confidence to constantly not be afraid mm -hmm. to do that is like very tough. And you're one of the only females that really, really get in that bag, like take that level of risk. You know what I'm saying? Um, what you thought about your performance and how you were able to execute? I felt good. Um, I was kind of bummed because I was trying to get that last little rebuttal in there in a second. <laughs> but I was like, fuck it, let me not forget the agenda of the round because that's happened to me before. I've tried to rebuttal and it worked well and then I forgot the entire round. So um, I feel like I'm getting better with that. I like rebuttaling because like I said, it makes me feel like an overall better battle. If I can make the crowd shake off a rebuttal before I even start, then it gives me more confidence as I go on. So um, I like that. I'm going to keep trying to do that as always. Now, Chrome 23. What made you say, I'm going to do this tournament knowing that you have this battle? Or how did that like come together? Because that's risky. You know what I'm saying? The battle was first. This okay. battle was booked first. Okay, 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 okay. Um, I was actually going to be on the next card that RB has. But with the tournament, I was just like, I can't do that. So it was really supposed to be like a two battle thing. But I couldn't do it because I joined the tournament later. So really, it wasn't too much. I mean, I had about a month. So like I said, I was just trying to even it out, probably put, I'm going to put a lot, I put a lot more bars into tomorrow than today, to be real, just because it's 25K on the line, to gotcha. be honest with you. Gotcha, yeah. But um, yes, yeah, so y'all going to see me back to punching back to back to back and not really doing as much as I did today, focus more on rapping and believability and um, uh, punches. That's about it tomorrow. How, yeah. do, how do you feel as far as like uh, the pressure of being here in Atlanta and then having to go to New York in a short amount of time to be 100% prepared, knowing that you're being judged for $25,000. I'm used to it. Gotcha. Um, that's why the tournament is not as much to me because I'm used to it. I actually had two battles booked the same weekend not too long ago. They were both in Atlanta, but one fell through. I'm used to quick battling. Um, I'm used to quick memorization, so I'm hoping that that's a plus for you in the tournament. You know, because a lot of girls are not used to that. Gotcha. So, 
I see. You're trying to take them out like that. You're like, right, as long as I get my, past my first, the second one, yeah, she better be able to, you know what I'm saying? I'm How do you it's 90 second rounds, like I said, it's going to be. Oh. With the clock? Oh, so y'all not, like, hey, there's no room for error. No room for error tomorrow. How do you feel about your opponent for tomorrow? Uh, Profit is another one that gets slept on. She's been slept on for a long time. I don't feel like she has the delivery or believability to beat me. So that's mainly what I'm focused on besides punching her lights out is making the crowd feel that shit. Because I know that that's not her strong suit. So I just play the people's weaknesses, you know? I, whatever I feel like your weakness is, that's what I'm going to go 10 times harder on. Um, how dope is it to see Remy Ma throwing this, uh, I don't know if it's the first women's tournament ever, like, you know what I'm It is the first female tournament. Um, shout out to Remy, it's dope. Um, I'm hoping there'll be more, I'm hoping there'll be higher amounts, you know. To be real with you, I'm not doing it for the 25k, I'm doing it because I want to be the first woman to win a women's tournament. Mm, so it's bigger than the money. It's bigger than the money. Uh, not to brag, but niggas make 25k in a month. So I'm really doing it because I want to be number one. Talk, money. So I'm doing it for it. So not only a uh, smart, a uh, uh, dope artist, but a smart businesswoman as well. So it ain't about, you put yourself in a position where it don't have to be about the money anymore. It could have been for 10. It could have been for five. I still would have been in the tournament. Cause it's the first tournament where I could show and prove that a lot of these bitches can't do it back to back like that. How you feeling about your bracket? I don't think a lot. The, My the bracket kind of your... sweet. <laughs> Compared to the first bracket? Yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of light. I was like, all right, I'm gonna... You feel like you are the dominant force in your side of the bracket any any you know i don't want you to of course looking past your opponent because i'm sure she's gonna bring a level of intensity as well but uh who else looks dangerous on that side to you on your side to me i was worried about c3 because i feel like she never really she's fire and she never really gave the, the chance of like showing how fire she is in a setting like that so i feel like she's gonna come with it to be real with you um, I'm not too worried about Yoshi because I already know how to handle that. To be real with you, Shice already battled her, so I'm not worried about nobody really on my side of the bracket. It's about who's gonna come out that other bracket that I'm worried about. Okay, so the other side is where it's really at. Yeah. Who you think is gonna make it out the other side? I want to say 40 because of potential, but you said I'm short leaning prep time. towards C3 because of her experience with short prep time. Only because of that experience. Got you, got you. So I, I'm leaning towards C3 making it out of that bracket. Man, I got to say, Bonnie, I'm looking forward to see what you're able to do. You know, RBE today, Chrome 23 tomorrow, like you're really showing how to get it done. Uh, anything else you know you're working on or anything else, you know, that uh, you're doing out there that you want the fans to be engaged in or know that you're doing as far as you being a 10 year plus veteran in the game um i got a new job with tiktok so i am recruiting people on tiktok as far as being influencers i'm hoping to try to grab a lot of the battlers come on tiktok come on beagle live there's a lot of apps that are paying us now because we have fan bases it's so easy to get us those contracts above other people so definitely tapping with that podcasters artists musicians comedians doesn't matter everybody can get paid to be a social media influencer and go live um do podcasts do live shows um i had a couple people that did virtual battles for me on there so we're gonna keep up that type of stuff um you already know i'm gonna be slowing down because i'm having my first baby soon so. congratulations <laughs> congratulations so y'all might not see me battling as much after the tournament maybe i'll come back after the summertime when i have the baby but yeah i'm gonna be chilling so, so you're going i'm sorry but you're going through all this with still about to yeah, Whoa. I threw up this morning, morning sickness, shit don't matter. I gotta still do what I gotta do, so. And you ready to take it all the way to them? Ah, mm -hmm. oh, man, Bonnie, salute. You know what I'm saying? Always got to say, appreciate you. You're one of the first people that showed me love when mm -hmm. I first started doing this media stuff. Mm -hmm. Met you at Black Star, mm -hmm. and it's always been love, and I'm happy to see your success mm -hmm. and how, you know, you, everything's working out. Mm -hmm. And uh, congratulations again Thank you. on the baby. Um, appreciate you, Bonnie. Love you. Mm -hmm. Make sure I follow. Follow, follow, follow. Like, subscribe. Don't play around. You gotta fuck with the people that fuck with the culture. That's it. Let's get it.